How's business here? Business is good. Where well, there's no people here. Well, the doctor likes to space out the appointments so that everybody gets a good amount of time with him. What's the last thing you bought that changed your life? That's a question in this magazine. I don't know. <laughs> ah, the juicy tomato. Just because Tom Brady avoids them. I think them. he's ready for you. You can just go right in. Ah. Okay. Well, great news, my friend. As expected, you are going to live. You have a quadrata strain, which can be explained by the fact that you lifted something heavy, which you cannot do. What was I, what was I supposed to do? She was this frail woman. Well, I completely understand that. If it were me, I wouldn't have done it, but that's because I lost chivalry uh, after the divorce. Why? What do you mean? My wife cheated on me. Really? Yeah, three times. So you're leading the single life now? I'm leading the single life. Couldn't be happier. Hey, let me ask you a question. Sure, anything. How come there's nobody in your waiting room? Oh, well, you know what? I like to space them out. Privacy. You know, you got some high-profile people in here, like you or Harrison Ford. Oh, Harrison you know? Ford is a patient? No, it was, it was a hypothetical. If Harrison Ford were a patient, I would tell you he's incredibly lovely. Bit of a curmudgeon sometimes. So he's a patient, Harrison nope, Ford. didn't say that. I would assume, based on interviews I've seen. No, you just told me. You just told me he's a patient. No, I didn't. Yeah, I, never said, didn't. I, I never said I've seen my patient, Harrison Ford, after his last plane crash. OK. Well, why don't I get you set up with a yeah. foam roller? Foam roller. Very easy to use. I'm going to give you a, a, a... You want me to roll? I just want you to roll on it. OK. Very easily. Okay. Elizabeth uh, at the front desk. Oh, we'll walk you through how to use it. Self-explanatory. It should be pretty simple. But we will give you a document with some illustrations on it to walk you through it as well. OK, Lee? And then I'm going to write you a prescription. How do you do with anti-inflammatories? I know, as a Jew, I get a little rumbly in my tumbly. Do, uh, I do OK. Ah. Uh, that's why I never became a basketball player. Oh. I will see you back here in a couple of days, and you, my friend, should be feeling as good as new. OK. And I get a glimpse of his underwear. It was completely frayed, like loose violin strings and holes in it. It was like, it was like the underwear had been to war. I don't know why you didn't run out. I'm not going to run out. That's rude. But you know what? My, he, my back actually feels a little better. It does? Yeah. Uh, I don't care. I will never be going back to him. Really? I am done. Hey, you know what? What? Maybe that's why there's nobody in his waiting room. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Let's see this Let's set. See. Huh? We'll have Manhattan, oh. the Bronx oh, my God. This is freaky. This is Really? Freaky. This is yeah. exactly? This is, this is the exact dimensions. We had a piano here. What was in here? Huh? What was in here? That's my mother's closet. Uh, oh, it's a nice... Holy shit. Look at this. This is the exact dimension of the apartment. I lived here from 8 to 25. Look at the size of this kitchen we had. Huh. Look, they even got the stove exactly right. Come on, let's check out wardrobe. Oh, this is great. This feels oh, good. there he is. Hey! hey. Feels very, like, Cliff, right? Oh, that's yeah. Cliff, yeah. yeah. He's loving the jackets. We got some really good looks. Those are good. Yeah, yeah. very 70s. Oh, um, I was just looking at the schedule, and I realized and this is totally my fault. I'm so sorry, but I can't make anything after 4 on Thursdays. I have a church thing. Church? Yeah. Your last name's Steinberg. Oh, I'm a Jew for Jesus. I love this one. Nice. She's going to grab a picture. OK, great. Today. So again, I can totally work around it if not, but I hope that doesn't like throw a huge wrench oh, in it. Well, uh, we'll fix no. it in the schedule. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. Sure. Yeah. Jew for Jesus, really? And you think he's sincere about it? Oh, he's totally. totally yeah. I was so shocked and stunned that <laughs> that face, that punim. And by the way, you look at this kid, his parents are a big bowl of Jewish. He's screaming Jew. <laughs> what do you think about this whole Jews for Jesus thing? That's crazy stuff. I don't know why anyone would do that. You know, when you're a Jew for Jesus, you're embraced by the Gentiles immediately. Right. I mean, but as much as you're embraced by the Gentiles, you're reviled by the Jews. He's, you know, he's considered like a traitor. That's right. He's left us. The Gentiles are liking him. To put that one in the front, they're proud of that. We took him in. Yeah. You know, we, yeah, got, yeah. we got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. Why they want one, I don't yeah. know, but they got one. They got one. one. <laughs>